see here there is six buckets of different puppies. When RSPCA inspectors raided this puppy farm in Stockport, they rescued 87 puppies and 50 dogs. They'd been kept in overcrowded and unsanitary conditions. Yet the charity says puppy farms like these are now becoming more common. Okay, Lindy, you ready? Ready, go! Lindy was recovered from a puppy farm three years ago. Only now is she Hold starting in. to recover. She was in a really bad state, actually. She um, had no concept of the outside world, so she stayed in her bed quite a long time. It took us a long time to get her out for a walk. And she was found in a barn, so we don't know if she was locked up continuously in there um, because she was uh, came in as a puppy mum. She was one that produced all the pups. So, yeah, it was a really sad time, really. The demand for so-called designer puppies like these has soared over the past decade, and the RSPCA says that's boosting the trade in unlicensed breeders. At least 770,000 puppies come onto the market in England every year. It's thought more than half of them, 430,000, come from unlicensed breeders. And some dealers who've been prosecuted have earned up to £35,000 a week. At this RSPCA centre in Surrey, they say the number of dogs coming in from puppy farms is increasing and more needs to be done to drive out unregulated dealers. Some five puppies in here. The government says it's cracking down on the illegal trade in puppies and wants to make sure all breeders have a licence. But the charity says without better enforcement, puppy farms like this will continue to exist. Leila Hayes, Five News.